Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardinal. And today, we're playing in a crazy deck. I mean, it's one of the decks that's everywhere. We gotta show it. Yep. It's one of those things that just has to happen. With a little twist, right? Yeah, a little bit of difference, but it's not a lot. But it is our girl Prissia. The deck's called Altered Beast. But before we get into it, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support, and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into the Altered Beast. First up, our girl Prissia. She's Stranger 10, two green and a red for judgment, and it energizes a red and a green. And then whenever Wind Regalia enters the field in your control, you choose one. If the Regalia is Claw of the Sacred Beast, you choose two. And she has judgment for zero, and get a stranger at random for like all the others. Her two special ones are put a 6-6 Wind Beast Resonator into play, or put two friendship counters on this card, which is probably what you're gonna do, because yeah, it cause... gets disgusting. Yeah. Uh, and then her judgment is she's a 7-7 seven, seven with swiftness, and her god's art is the real power of friendship, and uh, it's two green and a red. You double the attack and defense of all J resonators that you control until the end of the turn. Yeah. So, sure. Good. I'm gonna kill you real, real hard. Real, real fast. Um, but honestly, if you're having a judgment her, then I don't know. Something's happened. Because this deck is disgusting. Yeah. But we'll get into her strangers. So, first up, she's got Deep Green Magician Liz. It is two green for quick cast seven, eight with. Uh, enters you cancel target chance spell so it helps you just cancel the spell that you don't want them to have like their big angry spell that this deck plays which you'll see it uh, or any of the other kill spells really next up is Nitzve the guardian of the green branch she has two green quick cast uh, enter recover target J slash resonator so you can attack again with a dude yeah. or you can insta cast un un untap a dude and block Next up is Barus, the Machine God of Conflagration. He is two red for a demon, and resonators you control get plus two plus zero while they're attacking. And you can awaken him for red or green. And the green awakening, J resonators you control get pierce. Red awakening, they gain swiftness. Yes. Super good. So if you pay four, your dudes get plus two plus zero attacking and pierce and swiftness. And then also mix it with the God's Art if you <laughs> wanted to, and then you just win. Yeah, it's, it's pretty gross. Uh, next up is Athenia, the Windmaster. She is one green, six six stranger. Enter, put the top two cards in any removed area into the owner's graveyard. And when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, you may pay a green. You choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. And she can sacrifice herself to target a stranger or regalia, gains barrier until the end of the turn. So you can save your own regalia, which is most likely what you're gonna wanna do with her. Oh yeah. And if you have the extra green, then you get a free stranger. And then last but not least is Regulus, the king of the volcano. And this dude gets way more gross in this deck. Yeah, very much so. Mainly because he's a beast. Yep. And he has two red and one for a 10-10 beast with swiftness. When this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. So we'll got to talk about it, but the claw just makes this dude so much more angry because of the friendship counters. And you're just like, hey, yeah. you take more damage now. Thanks. Exactly. And just think about it in order to kill it in combat, they're gonna need to take 10. <laughs> yeah. Which is a fourth of their life. Oh, great. Yeah, you took some damage. Oh, you killed it? Neat. Yeah. And it wasn't a kill spell? Sucks for you. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. The first one, of course, is one of the most overpowered one-drops with her. Mm -hmm. It is a friendly-seeking mole. So one-drop, three, three. Enter. Put a friendship counter on your J-Roller. Cool. Then if there are three or more J friendship counters on your J-Roller, search your deck for a win regalia, reveal it, and put it in your hand. And shuffle your library. And deck yeah. so ridiculous. Yeah, so go get your claw and always have it. Yeah, always. And he's just a like he's a big dude for one minute. He doesn't seem like it, but when you get to claw, you'll understand. Exactly. Alright, next one is Magna Guardian's Beast. It's a green, red, green, which is the only color pie <laughs> that did that for some weird reason. It's a six six beast. Enter. You may search your deck for up to two uh resonators with a total cost one and then put them on the field and shuffle your deck. Uh super good. So you go get two friendly seeking moles, and you're like, cool. Go get some more regalias. Friendship, friendship, regalia, regalia. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Now the main part of this deck is Huang Long and his Huang. four sacred beasts. And he is a red and a green for a 5-5 five, five god slash beast. And this card gets plus two, plus two for each say four sacred beasts you control. 
and then he enters, you reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a four sacred beast resonator that doesn't share a name with the resonator you control. Put that card into the field and then shuffle the rest into your deck. And then as long as you control four or more four sacred beasts with different names, this card and four sacred beasts you control gain swiftness, flying, and barrier. Seems good. He's just disgusting for two mana. I'm a 7-7 seven, seven, and I get two dudes in play. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to go get a four sacred beast and that automatically gives him plus two, plus two. And if you have multiples, he just gets bigger and bigger. He's Pretty. just gross. He's just really, really gross. And yeah. Really, really good. Two mana tutor and I get two dudes. Yep. Sweet. And of course, one of the first of the four sacred beasts is Bahu the Sacred Beast. It's a white and a two. Six, six, precision. Enter. You gain two life for each four sacred beast to control. Simple as that. Yep. Next up is Zanwu, the Sacred Beast. He is a blue and two for a five, seven turtle. He's a four sacred beast. Enter, return target resonator to its owner's hand if its, if its total cost is less than or equal to the number of four sacred beasts you control. When this card blocks, prevent the next damage that would be dealt by the end of the turn. Sounds about right. Uh, King Long, the sacred beast, two green and one, eight, eight. Enter, if you control another four sacred beast, draw a card. And then you pay one, other four sacred beast resonators you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Play this only once per turn, because that's way too powerful. Yeah, possible. The next one, Zhao Ku, the Sacred Beast. It's a red and a one, four, four. It has swiftness. And then enter, this card deals 200 damage to each target, to a target resonator for each Sacred Beast you control. So with those, you get to kill the board, gain some life, block all the dudes. Yeah. Or pump your dudes. Yeah, exactly. And then the final Sacred Beast is Alice, Zeus Incarnate. Cause oh, hey, hey, she's a Zeus, she's a four Sacred Beast. Yep. And she is a blue, white, and one for an eight, eight. Really, she's just an eight, eight because you don't really have a way to get all that in there. I mean, if they kill your stone, great. Yeah. You could get there, but you're not really gonna get there. Yeah. She's just an 8-8 eight eight that I wanted to throw in there because she's a four sacred beast. You know, exactly. flavor. It's That's the, why. It's the cuteness for sure. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now the next spell we have is a Regalia Break. Of course you need it, why not? One red and quick cast, destroy target, Regalia, draw a card. Yeah. In this day and age of Force Wheel, you need Regalia Break. Exactly. And of course, speaking of Regalia, it's Claw of the Sacred Beast. It's a green, red, mythic, so you can only have one on the field. Beast and four Sacred Beast resonators you control get plus one, plus one for each friendship counter on your J Roller. Insane. <laughs> Solid. Tap. Produce two wheels of any combination of red and white for God's Art, Sword Arts, and Strangers. Yeah. Her Regalia, that yeah. makes or breaks this deck. Yeah. Like, hands down, makes or breaks it. So, turn one, you want to mulligan to it if you have to. Yeah. Just like like five, just five of them gone. Get it? Yeah. Next up is Prissy's Call to Action. It is one green. You pay a green less to play this card if it targets a beast. Target Resonator gains swiftness and precision until the end of turn. Draw a card. So silly. Yeah. So you're like, cool. Target that dude. He gets swiftness and precision for free. Draw for a card. For free. It's Thanks. a king of trip too, which is broken. Yeah. Solid. Thanks. All right. And of course, if you notice, sacred beasts are all different colors, right? But. We got this little secret here. Secret hot springs of, uh, what is it, Sasai. So one green, addition, enter. Put a friendship counter on your J ruler, because you need more. And you may search your deck for a four sacred beast, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck for one green. Yeah. Wait, there's more. You can tap this. If there are three or more friendship counters on your J ruler, you may put a four sacred piece from among them, from your hand onto the field. It, Just instantly, whenever you want. Yeah, for one green, to go get a dude, pump your dude, and play that dude is a little bit much. A little, just a little strong. Just a scotch too much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the secret beasts aren't like crazy, but being able to play them for free gets them up there. Yeah, the fact they should have made it where like you can only play them if your friendship counter is equal or lesser or is greater than yeah the cost of the secret beast, but whatever. I mean, you have to have three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When, whenever really does that, that happen? Get. Yeah. The next one is Prissia's encouragement. Oh, she's just rubbing the back of uh, the pig piggies. It's a one green quick cast. Target J slash resonator you control deal damage equal to attack. To target J slash resonator your opponent controls. That's great. If this card was awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. So and the awakening cost is red. So for two mana you get a dude and you kill a dude. Yeah. You kill a J roller if need be. 
Yelk. And the final card of the deck that totally puts this deck like over the top, yeah. like way over the top, is Super Beast Burning Rush. It is two red and two green, and it is a whole lot of text, so bear with me. Yep. It is a sword art, so you can play it with your regalia, because why not? Yep. Put a friendship counter on your J Ruler. If this card is awakened, choose X times from the following. Otherwise, choose X times at the following from ran at random, where X is the number of friendship counters on your J Ruler. Yeah, friendship counters. So X is friendship counters. If you have awakened, you get to choose them. Otherwise, they're all random. Yep. Then. All right, so we choose those. The first one is this card does 500 damage to your opponent, yep. or put a 6-6 six, six win, win Beast Resonator token into the field. Okay. It gains swiftness until the end of the turn. Recover up to two Magic Stones you control, or choose a card from a Stranger Deck at random and put it in your hand. And its awakening is two red and two green. <laughs> so if you go to late game and you drop all of these in top deck mode and you get eight mana to just be like, hey, I get to choose these. Yeah. They pretty much die because you're like, cool, you can take five a lot. <laughs> I'm going to make yeah. some six, six beasts. Yeah, you keep doing it until you run out of friendship counters that you have. And like, sure, some of these don't seem like they're all that powerful, but... But when it happens five times in a row, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Regardless of what you get, you're getting value out of this card. Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the untapped lanes, or untapped stones, because that makes this card free, which... Mm -hmm. Is kind of ridiculous. If you have another one in your hand, then you go for it again. Yeah, and at some point you're gonna get some beasts and you're gonna deal some damage for free and get free card advantage. Like this deck just makes card advantage be your best friend, yeah. and that's really what it does. Because being able to get so many strangers so quickly is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, that is it for the main deck. The stones, they're super simple. We have four Adaractias Memorial because they're red green. Uh, you have four Magic Stone of the Blasting Waves because they're red green, and then we have. A couple of this magic stone of the deep wood it helps you if you need to play the turtle that's really why it's there yeah i mean you don't you don't need to have this deep wood you can put something else in there just like a regular green or a red stone if you wanted but i just had the green blue stone because it's a dual lane so yeah might well but that is it for the deck guys it is altered beast it's one of the strongest decks in the format right now just so you know but you'll get to see it on a brawl soon enough so keep in keep in touch with that Hope you enjoyed your stay here on Geektopia Island. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.